A man fell into a reactor pool at a nuclear plant. So this water is not radioactive. It is radiation shielding. At the Palisades nuclear plant in West Michigan on Tuesday, October 21st, a contractor accidentally fell into a pool located above the reactor. During an outage, the reactor vessel head is removed and water covers the core for shielding. Workers operate 30, 40 plus feet above the reactor fuel assembly, which is more than enough protection from radiation. While working inside the containment building, the worker was wearing the required safety gear, including a life vest, which is mandatory when working near a pool without a barrier. OSHA standards and Nuclear Regulatory Commission standards. The individual reportedly ingested some of the pool water. The pool water might contain trace amounts of tritium, but the biological dose from swallowing a few milliliters is negligible. The bigger concern would be ingesting chemicals like boric acid, not radiation poisoning. The worker was pulled out and immediately decontaminated by radiation protection personnel. And this would mean a quick rinse followed by a survey with radiation detectors. Radiation detected from the worker's hair measured 300 counts per minute. That measures detector clicks, not dose. Different probes have different efficiencies. On a Geiger counter, this could correspond to 0.1 microsieverts per hour, which is basically background plus a bit of removable contamination. CPM. According to officials, 7 to 30 CPM is considered normal background radiation. Background can be 30 counts per minute, but instrument sensitivity matters. Most environments, while 300 mm. and above is considered potentially concerning. Again, that depends on context. Dose rate in microsieverts per hour are the numbers that matter. Mm. And 10,000 to 150,000 CPM has a high potential of being dangerous. That number doesn't mean anything. A senior manager of government affairs for Holtec International, the company that owns the Palisades nuclear power plant, released a statement saying, the worker was promptly assisted from the water, evaluated, monitored, and decontaminated for removable contamination in accordance with established industry standards and safety procedures. Exactly what you'd expect. Nuclear safety culture requires immediate reporting, radiation dose reviews, and documentation. Even a zero dose event will trigger lots of paperwork and a procedural review to ensure something like this doesn't happen. Holtec International also said the worker sustained minor injuries, was treated at a hospital, and has since returned to work. The real takeaway was this was a workplace fall, not a radiological accident. The real hazard in place was gravity and water.